The increase in quality of life that AI can deliver is extraordinary. We can make the world amazing and we can make people's lives amazing. We can cure diseases, we can increase material wealth, we can like help people be happier, more fulfilled, all of these sorts of things. And then people are like, oh, well, no one is gonna work. But people want status, people want drama, people want new things, people wanna create, people want to like feel useful. Um, people want to do all these things and we're just gonna find new and different ways to do them even in a vastly better, like unimaginably good standard of living world. But that world, the positive trajectories with AI, that world is with an AI that's aligned with humans and doesn't hurt, doesn't limit, doesn't, um, doesn't try to get rid of humans. And there's some folks who consider all the different problems with a super intelligent AI system. So uh, one of them is Eliza Yudkowsky. He warns that AI will likely kill all humans. And there's a bunch of different cases, but I think one way to summarize it is that it's almost impossible to keep AI aligned as it becomes super intelligent. Can you steel man the case for that? And um, to what degree do you disagree with that trajectory? So first of all, I will say, I think that there's some chance of that. And it's really important to acknowledge it because if we don't talk about it, if we don't treat it as potentially real, we won't put enough effort into solving it. And I think we do have to discover new techniques to be able to solve it. Um, I think a lot of the predictions, this is true for any new field, but a lot of the predictions about AI in terms of capabilities, um, in terms of what the safety challenges and the easy parts are going to be, have turned out to be wrong. The only way I know how to solve a problem like this is iterating our way through it, learning early, and limiting the number of one-shot-to-get-it-right scenarios that we have 